let's look at uh, Poisson processes uh, once again. So we say for processes Poisson, if the number of uh, arrivals in any interval t equal to k follows this uh, Poisson uh, distribution with parameter lambda t, where t is the duration of the interval. And the second condition is that even so non-overlapping intervals are independent. So we can use these two properties to look, derive the mean and autocorrelation function. Mean is lambda t and the autocorrelation function is lambda squared t1 t2 plus lambda min of t1 comma t2. So uh, clearly this is not a stationary process. Now next we can look at the distribution of uh, these random variables. Remember the arrivals are random. So this is the first arrival, <coughs> uh, first arrival random variable. So this will be the second arrival random variable. So this will be tau n, which will be the arrival instead corresponding to the nth arrival. Let's say this is the nth arrival. All these are random variables. So we can look at, try to find out their density function. And we can also try to look at the density function of any inter arrival uh, time tau. So let's do for tau 1. So if you start with the probability of tau 1 greater than t, this is the same as saying that first, this is the first arrival. <coughs> so the first arrival is beyond t. That's the same as saying that the number of arrivals in 0 to t is so zero so this is the number of uh, arrivals uh, or is less than or equal to zero uh, but it cannot be less than so this is equal to zero so this is same as saying that x of t equal to zero so from the definition of poisson here if you put k equal to zero you get that to be e raised to minus lambda t so this is e raised to minus lambda t on the other hand, this is, in terms of its distribution function, this is 1 minus f tau 1 of t. So we get f or tau 1 of t to be 1 minus e raised to minus lambda t. So we take the derivative of the density, uh, derivative of the distribution function, which is d by dt of f of uh, tau 1 of t. So that turns out to be lambda e raised to minus lambda t. For t positive, so this is of course exponential density function. So the conclusion is that uh, tau one, the first arrival, <coughs> is exponentially distributed. Uh, with the parameter lambda. So let's look at tau n. So again, if you use the same argument, what is the probability of tau n is greater than t? This is the nth arrival. So this is the same as saying that the number of arrivals in 0 to t is less than or equal to n minus 1. Right? Because the nth arrival is beyond t. But so this is the same as uh, probability that the number of arrivals in 0 to t is k, k goes from 0 to n minus 1. And we can substitute this to be, so this is summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1, <coughs> e raised to minus lambda t, lambda t to the power k over k factorial. But on the other hand, on this side, this is also equal to 1 minus f tau n of t. So from here you get the f tau n of t is 1 minus summation this quantity k equal to 0 to n minus 1 e raised to minus lambda t lambda t to the power k over k factorial. Let me quickly do the derivative with respect to uh, t. <coughs> so notice there is two terms. So this is going to be summation k equal to 0 through n minus 1 e raised to minus lambda t. So derivative with respect to k is <coughs> lambda uh, k then lambda t to the power k minus 1 over k factorial uh, plus summation 
uh, this is with the minus sign there is this minus sign then when I take the derivative with respect to 3 minus minus cancels gives me plus I get lambda e raised to minus lambda t lambda t to the power k over k factor so k equal to 0 this vanishes so these limits go from k equal to 1 through n <coughs> now I can cancel k and k to give me k minus 1 factorial so now uh, I have k minus 1 k minus 1 here so if I substitute k minus 1 equal to m this leads now summation k, k minus 1 is m so m equal to 0 through n minus 2 when uh, so if it, K, m is k minus 1 so when m becomes n minus 1 the top limit is n minus 2 e raised to minus lambda t then you have uh, lambda lambda t to the power m over m factorial this is with the minus sign here and on the other side everything stays the same uh, so this is going to be summation this is of course k equal to 0 through n minus 1 so I'm going to rewrite this in terms of m, m equal to 0 through n minus 1, just changing k to m. <coughs> so this is uh, e raised to minus lambda t, lambda, lambda t to the power m over m factor. So notice that all the terms here cancel with this, you just remain one term. And, uh, <coughs> and that will turn out to be, so I'll write down a result here. So <laughs> we will get the density function of uh, the uh, n of the arrival to be just the last term because the terms here up to n minus 2 here exactly the same terms but up to n minus 1. So this is lambda to the power n minus 1 here lambda n then t to the power n minus 1 over n minus 1 factorial e raised to minus lambda t for t positive. Now, those of you who are familiar, you can see that this is gamma random variable <coughs> with parameter n and lambda. So, of course, the uh, first arrival is a special case of this because this is uh, gamma <coughs> and uh, when n equal to 1, gamma becomes exponential. Now, very quickly, if you come over here, if you also look at uh, any inter-arrival time, <coughs> uh, simply call it tau. So tau is between, let's say, any uh, ti and ti plus 1. Uh, so we can again use the same logic. What is the probability that uh, uh, tau, remember, <coughs> tau, the first arrival is beyond tau. So that's the same as saying probability that n of is that there are no arrivals in essentially between ti and ti plus tau and this is uh, same as say because it's equal to zero so once again this turns out to be e raised to minus lambda t and this is one minus f tau of t uh, so if you simplify you get the inter arrival time between any two arrivals is once again lambda uh, uh, once again an exponential distributed density function with parameter lambda of course what is happening here is independent of what is happening here so then you conclude that all these internal arrival times are independent and each of them are exponential so if you add n exponentials you get gamma so whichever way you look at it you get the same result so each of the internal arrival distributions are exponential and the first, in particular, the first arrival is exponential. And uh, when you add up a bunch of independent exponentials, you get the end up arrival to be a gamma distributed with parameters lambda and uh, n. Then, of course, you can find the mean value, variance, etc. for that random variable. Thank you.